Hello, welcome to me making the most ridiculous videos possible. Today I'm going to be looking at how many of my iOS devices still have battery as of filming this. Let's go. First off, let's go up here, iPod Touch, first gen, I've got about the thing. Is it going to have battery? Looks like... No. Okay. There's another iPod Touch first gen. Will it have battery? No. What about this iPod Touch second gen? This might. So, okay, what about my third gen here? Oh, yeah, Apple logo. Put that in that part, I guess. I've just started. Let's, what about this fourth gen? I've got four of these in life. Nope. What's going on in the nope pile? What about this one? This is my iOS 6 one with tweaks. Yes, expect it to die though, because that's usually what happens. Missed this one for almost. Oh, yeah, that might die as well. Uh, what about this one? No? It's my iOS 4 one. Um, always put in the wrong pile. Yeah. We're one of fifth gen. I suppose that like none of these actually have changed in the value of batteries. My third gen just went to the lock screen. Looks like no. Wow. It's an absolute plug for a moment. This one it's the iCloud locked but Will it turn on? If no, there's no functionality really. Love you, Apple. Looks like nope. Okay. Sixth gen. Yep. Oh, that one just did the white screen. This one's on the lock screen. As you can see. You can't really see. There we go. Twenty-five percent according to that. So, got four iPods there. Three of them still stuck in the battery because they're all fourth gen. That's just what happens. We're now on iOS six as well. Oh wait, no, that's not fourth gen. That's a fifth gen. It's, it's sixth gen. I'm an idiot. You get the point. And that one's dead. Cool. Now I guess onto these iPads. See, here's my um, first gen. Here's my second gen. iPad 2. Here's another iPad 2. I'm pretty sure I know the answer to all of these because I think all of them have battery. Yep. <laughs> so let's just stack them on top of each other. I think close the smart cover. Oh well. So that's total the amount to eight. Or more like seven now because this one no it's not this one. It's the one that, oh well. The other one the the touch like oh there it is on the lock screen. This one's now dead, so you could argue, oh yeah, that one's dead. Now I've got this one, and this one, and guess what, the answer's slightly different, because this one, boom, fine, this one, literally just won't get anything, it's like proper dead. I don't know why, well, I think it's to do with the battery expanded, but yeah, so, dead. Live.
so you've got quite a few alive. Got quite a lot without any battery. Now, onto the iPhones. Does my iPhone 2G have battery? And the answer is no. What about my iPhone 3G? Does it have battery? Yes. Put that into there. And what about my iPhone 3GS? Does it have battery? It has a dodgy power button, is the answer to that question. And, uh, well, the open button's kind of dead. But it probably might have. But for the sake of this, I'm going to say no. And there is my iPhone 3G on the home screen. Complaining about low battery. It's the meat switch is slightly broken. Oh, well. On to this. It's my iPhone 4. Will it turn on? Well, it's one of my iPhone 4s. Yes, it's turning on. Let's see if it actually gets to boot. Same with this, except from this one it has a broken power button, so it's a bit hard to tell. I have a few devices with a broken power button. Well, I say a few, more like three, and then one seems to be broken by software, which is my black iPad 2. So this might have battery, but for the sake of saying this, it's dead. Okay. Next, next, next. It's my iPhone 4S on iOS 6. Is it dead or alive? The answer is, I literally know the answer to this question. It's dead. What about this? My cool iPhone 4S. With the, you know, this transparent back. And there's my iPhone 4. However, does it allow me to use the touchscreen? Yes, it does. Cool. This one appears to be dead. So, for the sake of... You know, it's dead. Okay, a lot of these devices are dead. Like, what a surprise. What about this iPhone 4S here? It's like the other one, except from without a callback. It's actually alive. There's a reason. It's quite a simple reason. But there's a reason, nonetheless. Yeah, so this one, you know, boom, boom, boom. Yeah, it works. Cool. So that goes on my live pile. This one waits. What about this one? This is my OS 9 4S. And it's dead. Beam. Simple as. How about my iPhone 5? Well, the answer is it's got a broken power button, so I can't really test it without plugging it in. Oh well. And it probably is dead. Last time I used it. How about my iPhone 5C on iOS 9.0.2? It's dead. What about my iPhone 5S? It's dead. And can you guess what the problem is? The answer is quite simple. Well, shush. Beam. Beam. Probably won't actually work. But it's iCloud locked. So, I mean, it's alive, technically. But not really functionally. Unfortunately, thank you, Apple. Here's my iPhone 6 on iOS 11.2.6. It's dead. Cool. How about this? It's my iPhone 6s Plus. Is it dead? The answer is it's dead. What about this? It's my iPhone 6s on iOS 9.2.1. Is it alive or is it dead? It's froze cold. That's the answer. But it's alive. Except from, is it really alive? It's a similar problem to this iPhone 4S. No, it's not. That's the 4. To this iPhone 4. Except from, it's not activation locked. Well, I guess it is technically. It is activation locked, but with SIM card. You cannot activate it. What I really should have said is this is iCloud locked. That would have made much more sense to people watching this but basically 
this phone's just gonna be stuck on the hello screen for however long until someone makes a bypass or Apple lets people to activate these devices. Both, I doubt are gonna be that soon, but I think it has a possibility of happening. So, conclusion is, there's quite a few live devices as you can see. However, there's also quite a few dead devices as well so hope you enjoyed this very weird video and i'll see you later goodbye